Hello to all my friends out there. I hope everyone is doing okay. So, um, it's very hot here. And I was thinking, why is it so hot? Well, why it's so hot is there is absolutely no breeze. And so this just goes on hour after hour. And although it gets later, there's no breeze. So you can't like really, uh, you know, it doesn't really get cooler. You have to run the air. So I have my um, Walmart Cola that I bought. Uh, I'm making a point to buy this stuff, not because I really, really love it, but because it's 74 cents as opposed to $1.68. So, you know, you're saving almost a dollar every time you drink one of these two-liter bottles of Coke. So today I was up at the, uh, I was doing a bunch of really um, hot errands in the heat. And so I was up doing my walking. And so, you know, I bought some Diet Coke. So, I, I finally found one scrunchie at Dollar Tree. I needed one really bad. And, of course, there wasn't any, but I finally found one. And I found one, uh, I got one package of masks. Oh, there's only two in here. Wow. Well, anyway, I got two masks. That wasn't the best deal I've ever bought, but, you know, it, it, I need masks. Uh, at one point, I bought uh, hair color to get masks. And then I found uh, today um, the hair, skin, and nails. Okay, what I was trying to do is find this stuff because the newest craze is the collagen. So I did research on the collagen and the contents uh, of the should be, uh, the content should be about the same as the collagen, but it's not, but it was only a dollar. So I got, I found those and I couldn't find them. And I got, I finally found chives at Dollar Tree, but they only had one. And then I bought two cans of sardines with mustard at a Dollar Tree. The one with uh, mustard because that's good on crackers. And then I bought uh, two of these um, cans. I ate one for lunch. Really, I made a salad and it's the kind with bones and skin, which I really hate. But one thing that I found at Dollar Tree that I was really happy I found was aluminum foil because I was miserable without aluminum foil. Yes. So that's what I bought at Dollar Tree. And so I was next door to Smart and Final and I wanted to see if they had, um, oh, if they had, uh, I was looking for oatmeal. Um, I forget how many pounds it was, but it was um, for $14, and they don't have them anymore, but they have 10 pounds oatmeal for $10. I think that's a little bit more. And while I was there, I noticed this looked like decent pepper for a dollar. And so uh, what I'll do is I'll just put it in my old can. So that's all I bought today for uh, the stockpile. So now what I want to tell you guys is how to do your meal plan by planning the meals. Okay, this, is, this was easy for me to do because these are all the cheap meals I've eaten all these years. So the number one meal is hamburger gravy on bread with, with green beans. So what I did is I wrote down all the meat that is involved so now I just want to make a mark for a hamburger because this meal involves hamburger okay what I do is I fry the hamburger usually with some onions and garlic and then in the drippings I sprinkle a little flour and then I add usually evaporated milk half and half with water and I make gravy and then I you know it could be over potatoes but I like it on bread so that's number one. Okay. Number two, fried spam, baked potatoes, and green beans. 
Uh, I actually like this, and I just fry it so I wrote down spam, so one spam. And so I just fry it in oil, and then um, I have baked potatoes or instant potatoes and green beans, and I have um, mustard on my spam. Okay, number three. Hot dogs with rice and corn. What I do is I just make, um, so I'm gonna go over here now. I have one hot dog. What I do, uh, what I do, how I do this, I like it is I, I boil the hot dogs and then I have mustard and mayonnaise and on the rice, I pour milk and sugar and then I have corn, which sounds horrible, but I've been making this for years and uh, and I like it. Okay, number four, sloppy joes with tater tots and corn. So I'm gonna go over here and I have another hamburger. And I just use the packages. Okay, uh, number five, pancakes and eggs. Oh, I should have written eggs over here. I've been doing this so many years that um, pancakes and eggs or a uh, French toast. I just uh, mix one half cup milk and two eggs and then I dip the bread in the and the egg and I fry it. Hamburger helper lasagna lasagna hamburger helper with bread so I go over here and this is going to be more than enough food for two weeks so hamburger helper lasagna with garlic bread okay macaroni and cheese with hot dogs and peas any a, a lot of times um, so I have another hot dogs meal a lot of times um, macaroni and cheese with hot dogs and peas. A lot of times our vegetable for years was corn <laughs> corn only. Okay, chicken and dumplings. So I gotta go over here and mark a chicken. So I just learned this recipe um, from uh, Ramblings with Sherry. And you just, uh, what, what the way I always make my chicken is I just boil it in water and I throw a couple bouillon cubes in there and then some potatoes and carrots and onions. And then, you know, I cook it down until my chicken is really, really done. You can put noodles. But you can tear up or cut up uh, biscuits and throw those in the boiling chicken broth and uh, those are really good dumplings you can make your own biscuits and that is really really good or you can make noodles corn dog and fries with corn that is good you know you can buy so many corn dogs so I want to go over here to corn dogs so, you know, one package of corn dogs, you get a lot. Or you can have corn dogs and, um, and chili, but it was always corn dogs at my house. Corn dogs with fries and corn. That's cheap. Chicken patty with a package of gravy, instant potatoes, and vegetables. So, you know the chicken patties I'm talking about? They have good ones at Smart and Final. I think you can buy them at Dollar Tree, too. So now I need to go over here, one package of chicken patties. Beans with chorizo burrito. And I didn't write chorizo on my list. Okay, chorizo goes forever. It's also good with eggs, but the way I do it is I fry two pieces of bacon. Bacon is good because bacon and eggs are you know, bacon, gravy, and biscuits. I fry two pieces of bacon, then I take the bacon out and I eat it. Then I fry my chorizo in the bacon grease. Then I add the beans to the, a little bit of drippings, chorizo 
and bacon drippings. And then I, I cook my beans down until they're soft. I add a little water if I need it, and I mash them, and I can make a really good burrito. Okay, $1 pizza and chicken. Uh, usually I buy those uh, dollar pizzas, you know, the kind that are four for $3.99 at Walmart. Any kind of chicken, chicken nuggets, chicken legs, any kind of chicken is really good with pizza. So I need another chicken. Okay, number 13 is goulash. My mother-in-law, God rest her soul, at least once a week. Fry hamburger, put onions and bell peppers and tomato sauce with macaroni. So I need another hamburger. So uh, by doing it this way, you can see you're going to have lots of food and it's not expensive. Okay, chili with hamburger and cornbread. This can be the chili with no beans, the one for um, $1.12, and you can put your own um, beans in, or you can use a package. Or what I used to do is I use a can of chili, I fry hamburger, and I put water and corn cornbread. Hamburgers and potato salad. So I need another hamburger. In a lot of these, if you add cheese or mushrooms or, you know, you only need a half a pound of hamburger. Or a lot of times when I'm using packages, I just use one patty. Number 16, sausage, gravy, and biscuits. A lot cheaper if you learn to make your own biscuits. So did I write sausage? I buy the dollar packages of sausage. Number 17. I did a video, one of my first videos on this. Shepherd's pie. Okay, what I do is I used to buy the pie crust and I would poke a lot of holes in my pie crust with a fork and then I would bake it halfway uh, done. Then I would cook my hamburger, and, add, and I drain it and add tomato soup and green beans. That's it. And then on the top, I would mix macaroni. I mean, I would mix mashed potatoes and cheese. My ex-husband used to love my shepherd's pie, especially when he was starving. Okay, salmon patty and homemade tartar sauce with rice and green beans and you can look up homemade tartar sauce it's it's really cheap number 19 spaghetti and garlic bread everybody i've ever met you uh oh i'm forgetting to uh so let's see uh salmon salmon and um another hamburger and then usually i would have some kind of a little salad to go with that and a tuna casserole uh, there's all kinds of ways to make a tuna casserole but um, you know I've done lots of videos you can make it um, one of the things I like to do is I buy those packages of Alfredo and I just put a can of drained tuna and peas and it's really really cheap so then I go over here, and uh, my grandmother always said, always buy the meat first. So if you always buy the meat first, and you go, you need one, two, five, six pounds of hamburger. I actually eat a lot more chicken than this. But this is a good way to figure out if you don't have any meat. This is probably more than enough for a month, depending on, you know, your family. So, okay, you guys, please like, comment, and subscribe, and God bless you all.